Today they're going to learn how to connect points to their closest point with lines. So let's do it. Let's go to Geometry Notes, create a new profile. And before we start, I want to tell you that I'm going to use Blender 4.3. So to do this tutorial, this technique, at least you need Blender 4.3. You can do it with other versions, but thanks to Blender 4.3 and the new notes, we can do this technique much easier than the older versions of Blender. And you will understand it later. So first of all, we need some points. So what we can do is to use the points node or use an object, for example, a UV sphere, and convert it in points with points inside. So to do this, we are going to convert a mesh to volume. So we have volume. And now I want to convert all this volume to points with distribute points in volume. And thanks to this node, we can add points inside any object that is a mesh. And you can increase this to add more points, or you can do it from here too. Okay, so we have out of points. You can do it like that, or you can select grid. And now it's perfectly aligned. But I prefer random. And now what I want is to check every point and check which point is the closest to each point. So later we can connect each point with a line. So how we start with that? What we want is to use a curve line, right? Because it's what we want to connect these points. So what we should do is to instance a curve line to every point, have the original position in, for example, the star, and in the end, have the position of the closest, nearest point. However, if we want to use, for example, the node position that have the position of all the points, as you can see, we have this problem. We cannot connect this here because this is a field and this is a normal socket. So this doesn't work. So we can do that with a more complex setup, but there is a new easy way to do it in Blender 4.3. And this is possible thanks to for each element. So this node, these two nodes basically, it gives you access to each element of whatever you connect here. So I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, first of all, let's disconnect this and let's connect this here. So if we connect this here, it's going to show you the original geometry nodes without any change. This is really important. If you connect this one. And if you connect this one, it's showing you any change that you're going to add here. Here we're going to select with which element we want to work. Right now we want to work with points. So we want to check all the points. Okay. And for all these points, we can do something. We have the index or we can connect something here. So what we want, actually we don't have to connect this, is that I want a curve line, remember, in the position of all the points. So if I cannot connect this here, what I can do, thanks to this node, is connect this here. Look at this. And now this information is being isolate for each element, for each point. So the difference between this and this socket is that here we have all the information together and this is the same, but we have like for each point a wire. I know it's a bit complicated to explain, but thanks to this, as you can see, we can connect it here. So right now we cannot see the lines, yes, now we can see the lines, all the points, by the way, if you want to see the points at the same time, what we can do is to use joint geometry and connect both wires. So now we can see the original geometry, remember, and then what we are doing here. So thanks to this, what we did is to connect lines to every point. And the end is this position that you can see here. Okay, so we have one part of the job done. 
And now what we want, remember, is the closest position of each point. So to do this, what we can do, we have this beautiful node called index of nearest, and it gives you the index of the nearest index. So we need to use, for example, evaluate at index. Or you can use, if you want, sample index. And what we want is the position. So here is going to give you some information from this index, but we want the index of the nearest index that we're going to connect. So let's select vector because we want to get the position. So thanks to this, we are getting for every index of this setup, we are getting the position of the nearest index to all the index. Okay, and as you can see, we have the same problem. We cannot say to this end, hey, can you use this information? Because it's a field. However, we can do the same. We can connect this here. And now this information is going to be isolated for each element. So this is going to be like repeated for each element. And if we connect this here, bam, it's done. So basically, to sum up, as you can see, it's really easy to do this setup thanks to this node for each element. What is happening is basically that for each element is adding a curve line and we are using the position of all the points and the position of the closest point. So for each element, is adding a curve line and connecting the line to this position and this position. As easy as that, as you can see. And now, if you want, you can add more points. Sorry, not here, here. Here too. You can decrease it if you want, and you will see that always some point will be connected to the nearest point close to each point. And also what you can do, for example, we can animate this. Oh, for example, we can add here set position and use a nice texture. Nice texture, let's select color. And if we want to animate this, what we can do is to use 4D and animate this, as you can see. So let's use here, let's in time, in seconds, let's press play. It's too fast, so let's divide it by, for example, by 10 or something like that. And let's check it. As you can see, we can exaggerate this noise if you want. By the way, it's been displayed, so you can deactivate this if you want. And decrease this. And we have this really cool effect where all the points try to connect to the closest, nearest point. And if you want more points, increase this. Now let's give some instance to the points and some mesh to the lines here. So let's, for example, instance on points. And actually, this, we can connect it here, remember, in this setup. So here, we are going to instance UV spheres. We can decrease this here or in a scale if you want. And in this setup, we want to add curve to mesh and select cycle. Curve cycle, decrease this, something like that, maybe a bit less. Let's divide it by two. And let's give two different materials to each one. One here and one here. Let's say this one material. Let's say this view. Go to Shade Editor. And let's select any color. It doesn't matter, this one. And if you want to change the material from the lines, let's call these lines. Here, we can change the color of the lines. But first of all, we need to select it here. Lines. 
And now we can see better. And like that is how you create this really animation. If it's too fast, remember, you go to Geometry Nodes and you can decrease this, the scale, or divide it by a greater number. Or decrease this. So as you can see, this tutorial was really short and simple, but at least you know another way to use for each element. Now it's the turn to have new ideas and try new experiments. And if you like this video, please give a like, subscribe, and remember, you can do this project and many more, more than 100, on my Patreon. And see you in the next tutorial.